and welcome to Light to the Game. I'm Nikolai. We are playing The Wolf Among Us. You already know what's going on, so uh, let's just get going. Oh, come on. There we go. Da, 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 da. Ooh, that rain. Oh. And then drag our ass all the way back in here. Well, this is clearly a bad dream. See you around. Ouch. <sighs> Armor point bullets are a nasty business. A silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. I know this guy's voice too. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. Ouchie. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver. He's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Bleh. Easy there. Try not to move. Howie. <laughs> My arm is still broke. Oh. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious. But there's little I can do for the pain. Swinehart. How bad is it? Well, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. I must say, you're testing even my skills here. <laughs> it's ruining my chair. Please, oh, don't my God. move it. Yeah, really. Doctor. Why would you move well, that at all? I'm not saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Oh. Okay, because that's always a great idea. Let me just fix that myself. Okay, cool. Oh. <laughs> Get a pull. Okay. Cool. Get that way. Put it back on there. Oh, did I not do? Okay, I did say I didn't hit Y fast enough. Ah, just so much blood all over my chair. It's <laughs> enough to make my eyes go yellow. Maybe we should put a band-aid on that. Not bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's yep. lucky to be alive. Excellent pain tolerance. I'll next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. Doubtful. I don't know about that. Well, he should. Mm -hmm. There are limits to what even I can do. Okay, well. You know, I can't hear you. Quiet. Just relax. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better <laughs> if you really gave me up. a few minutes to finish with him. We already have shitty lighting I, in this I think apartment. I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, puns! He couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind. Don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. We'll be done in a moment. I'm Just a big please. boy. Give I can handle myself. Mark, mark. So hey much God, blood how much floor. longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Cause I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Oh my gosh, get everyone so shut quiet up. Quiet here. <laughs> Jeez. Yes, that would be helpful. Sorry. <sighs> there. All done. Are you right. sure? How do you know that's all of them? <laughs> Put this the bullet back together. But you should keep to having visits with me, and well, this time. Well, this is the fastest bandaging no job I've ever seen. It's impressive. Fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White, you'll be fine for light duty if he can figure out what that means. I don't know what that means. He knows what it means. It's oh. just been your faith in me is of days. amazing. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch, and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I can still hear you. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White, Sheriff? Mm -hmm. Colin. Swiney. 
What's the what's this problem with Colin? He's like angry that he's there. Ah, uh, booze. So the cure all. How do you um feel? Really? It's big B Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I seen him take worse. How do you think I feel? Like shit. I took like five shotgun rounds. To my chest. You had us. <clears throat> you had us worried there for a while. Do you actually care? You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. <laughs> Damn. Don't touch that arm. Ow! Why would you it, touch that arm? Um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I have a perfectly good other arm, you know. I've never seen you like that. And when Swinehart arrived, you know him. He's never worried. And even he thought you were... I don't know. It was just awful. I'm um, a big boy. Pretty hard to kill. Yeah, you were really fucked up. Man. Oh my god, Colin, you the mood like killer. You take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Why do I let you in my apartment? Colin, How do you get into saying, my apartment? You have hooves. About him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? <laughs> Fresh shirt. Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? <clears throat> or is Crane still the thing? No. The crooked man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying. That's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder it. It was a split-second decision, and I don't care how it looked. I'd make it again and twice on Sunday. All right, I'm not faulting you. I don't really know what I want to pick there, so I'll just stick what? quiet. I didn't say anything. That's right, I didn't. Look, I don't care. It was the only option. All I care about right an option now I like is there to pick. Just so. what does the crooked man want out of this? That's my I question. I thought just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. And apparently he has no problem can't with just people be about crime, killing. Right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? Probably this for is a about while. Those girls. And it'll always be about those girls. Nothing will change that. We'll see. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. Well, what do you but think now, now I then? see this war has been going on for years. No, oh, okay. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. Can what does that like mean? Call right way. King Cole? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. Mark. A little restraint and thought behind things will never hurt anyone, Colin. I can only do things the way I do them. And where has that left us so far? Excuse me, Further but it's left us with a name. Else? Maybe the name, the Crooked Man. Thank you. That's not good enough. Oh my god, what do you want? So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried. By the book. What straight book? Straight as an arrow. What Pure book? Pure is driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. It's probably we gonna have monsters. to. The fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. Frankly, we I didn't lose my so mind. I was perfectly in control. There I made a degrees. conscious choice. Degrees. I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Well, if that's the case, 
Please explain to Colin why tearing Dumb's throat out was necessary. You think he'd stop? You can't let up until the fight is finished. He was... he was still a threat, and that's all there is to it. Sure. Look, Bigby, all I right, care well, about the other Tweedle's gonna come after me anyways, whether or not I killed Dumb or not. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. True. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. True. Well, at least someone understands. Thanks, Colin. Siding with the pig and nuts, get no. the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Plenty of people own pigs in the city. Are you gonna let city. her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. And what if a Mundy does see me, huh? I'm a pig, not a mouse with a hat and a cane. True. They know what a pig is. It's not the end of the world. Everyone needs to shut up, though. I'm tired. Everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. No, you're just ordering I'm not. everything. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? Oh my god, I've just been like shot five times and my arm was broken. Wolf's residence. That's rude. <laughs> Buffkin, what is it? Mark. Okay. I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Hmm. Nerissa. Nerissa. Oh. <laughs> I was that trying to come up with something in snarky and it didn't yes. work. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about, but that she'll only tell you. Ah, oh, great. What do you think that could be? I don't know, uh, but Big everything hurts. Got an admirer. You always do well with the uh, disenfranchised. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. Maybe you should hire someone else and to be I your secretary. I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. You could probably get away with taking Let off your jacket. You aye, getting aye, Captain. <laughs> out. Of course, that's probably She's soaked through your shirt. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here, right? I don't know. I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just you know, trying to be big and bag, but and again, within reason. Really I don't have a problem with a pig right hanging out. Oh, okay. I get it. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. Clean up all the blood behind me, will you? That'd be great. If you could just do that, take care of that for me. It's kind of a mess. I don't want that, you know, drying out and sticking. Oh, is that the farm? Oh, it looks nice. That's probably a random depiction. Um, everything hurts. I think this is the first time we've actually been to our office. Yay, musical beginnings. Sorry, I'm listening. I don't have no idea how terrible I sound. I don't think I'll ever get tired of this opening. At least I'm finally used to the quick time events and handling this controller because, man, there are a few times where I was just like, mm, 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 nope, mm, mm, terrible. But I'm getting used to it slow but surely. I don't doubt that there's some serious shit coming up quite soon. Hi, Sheriff. Hey, girl. Hi, Narissa. Have a seat. So if you can't talk, can you write? Probably not. Probably can't write. That'd be the, like the lamest workaround ever. The shittiest spell possible. I, um, are you okay? 
I have you a lot of holes in last me. night. I wasn't sure you'd be, <laughs> you know, around. Don't oh, I'm be around. by this. I didn't get the worst of it. Rough. <laughs> I am still coughing up blood, but that's a whole other matter. Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Sure it. All right. All right, let's Thanks. go. You can start talking. Came here for a reason. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. Okay. When that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Okay. Back in the dressing room at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again. You can try. I just... Hmm, okay, so we have to figure out a workaround. Um... It might work. Try Crane this one. wasn't the murderer. The open arms was a setup. You sent me there. Was there I don't know if it was a setup or not, me but... To find there? These lips are sealed. Okay. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes hmm. we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. Okay. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way. Okay. But now... They're gone. Alright. And I don't know what to do. So you had faith in Holly. Hmm. Is this making any sense? Yes. I'm not sure how I can. We'll just Are you go saying with this. you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter. And I. I don't have any left. Okay. So I hope you're looking after yours. Okay, so I need to worry about everybody else. Are you? It's my job to look out for people, and not just my friends. Are you picking up on this, Bigby? Because I am. I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... Your magical bow doesn't let you. But, but your lips are sealed. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Mm -hmm. Faith wore one too. There you go. Good boy. Do Figuring you like it out. It? Hmm? it was. It is beautiful. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? So what happens if I can I touch it? Can I touch the ribbon? Touch it. Touch the ribbon. That spell crane talks. <laughs> I don't know about I have bad. You can't trust break? magic. I can't just remove it. Bad shit happens when I you play with magic. No. Oh. Bad things what? happen when you touch you it. Just stay back. You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. Please, don't. Okay, okay, okay. No touchy, no touchy the ribbon. Oh. Okay, I get it. Oh, no touchy the ribbon. So ribbons, if you take them off. Bye bye head. Okay. I don't know how, but I'm going to fix this. If you could just Point me in the right direction. I swear, I will fix this. That seems like a terrible idea. If anyone finds out I came here, go hide under the desk. There's plenty of room. Probably snow. 
Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of... trouble. What are you worried about? That's actually Listen, kind of a dumb choice. Please don't say anything. Clearly she's worried about whoever's taking off ribbons. Oh, what's that face? Why are you guys Sorry, acting weird? I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. You knew she was coming I down here. I have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. Oh. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. Bop. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Mm. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. Okay. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Oh, wait, Ooh, you okay. don't have to go. So what if, like, they're with someone that and was a the person has, like, a neck fetish and they want to take off the ribbon? That would just end in tears. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off? No. Or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay then. Good work. Is that a story? So, mm. about Beauty and Ribbons Beast, and next. do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? I wonder if it's another one. It's not a Grimm's the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And <clears> they're scared about what's been going on. Beauty told me she had to take out a loan from the Crooked Man. Seems like a pretty bad deal. I can only imagine what they're thinking now. Oh, nice Wolfie calendar. Way to press a button that ain't there. Okay. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I feel like we've said that phrase like over and over. <laughs> like we need to solve I it before something else. Other it's like, to attend to. Yeah, we know. We've been working on that for quite some time. Basically, this entire game. <laughs> and I think, on that note. We're gonna go ahead you and uh, tell me what you were into good reason. look, look what, what happened. happened. All right, all right. So on that note, we're going to uh, pause here, pick it up in uh, just a wee bit, but uh, stick around. Good things uh, come to those who wait. So toodles. <laughs>